Hi guys, welcome to Tic Tacs and Diamond Wax Sun Shell. How are you doing? I am good. I have to admit, I did something. I did something. Yes, I did. I did something. Let's see if I got you guys into the right places. We do. So, I finished my Jody Bergsma's friendship. And I went and I did a full video of me kidding it and showing you guys everything and doing this big review on it. Until I realized, this is the one I'm talking about. Until I realized my mic was sitting on my desk and not turned on. So there's no audio to it. So I could play it and just speak over it. But then I'm thinking, oh my god, no one's going to want to listen to that. So this is a kit up that I have had for a while now. The painting I love, it's Randall Spangler's Coach Dragon. Absolutely love it. You guys have probably seen it, but, and I hate that, but I have to put a but. This is a round. Now, mostly I've been doing squares from Diamond Art Club. This is a round drilled one. The quality of these drills are horrible. They are actually terrible. They are so full of static and trash that I have up and down this kit six times. I have kitted it in my Elizabeth Wards, de-kitted it, did it back again, took it back down, redid it, and back and forth and back and forth it went. So when I finished Friendship on Saturday night, I was like, well, I have that event in June that I want to do, and do I really want to start another big project have two on the go so I thought well I'll kit up a couple small guys so that's what I did is I just kitted up two little guys to muck with and then I thought well all right let's do this again so I started mucking around with it again last night but I started noticing all my stickers were starting to go up so I heard well I'm going to kit it back up again, and I'm going to do my best to try and finish it, because I like the picture, I just don't like the quality. So I thought, well, while I'm doing it, I might as well tell you guys what I was going to tell you when I filmed the other one and the audio didn't work because really the it wasn't pertaining a lot to the painting itself a lot of it was pertaining to you guys um so my body the last couple of days has not been doing well I had a procedure done Friday and I was told, as I always am, once a month, because every last Friday of the month I have the same procedure done, that, you know, by the end of the weekend you're going to feel great. Well, it's Monday, and I don't feel great. I feel crappy. And I felt crappy all weekend. To the point that I didn't get out of my pajamas. I basically just stumbled around my house and that was it so but and I'm okay with the fact that I didn't feel all that spectacular except for it was hard on my husband because he was like Michelle normally you're okay like and he really starts to if I have a bad day he starts to worry which I mean I guess is normal and so he went golfing yesterday and he came before he left he said to me you know for not feeling very good your mood is really good which is awesome he's like your mental health is is perfect even though your body i know is not and i said to him you know i i was going to bed every night and he would fall asleep 
and I would listen to him snore. And if you live with somebody that snores, it can be hard to fall asleep beside somebody that snores. And I already wasn't sleeping the best to begin with because, of course, I have my own, um, I have a lot on my mind, right? And I don't like to sleep because, to me, that's wasted time. And so, most nights, and, I, and I'm going to be very, very honest, and I hope, I hope this doesn't trigger anything for somebody, but and if it doesn't, I, I really do apologize if it doesn't. Please let me know so I don't ever do this again to you. But I, um, I live with something that is called passive, I don't know if you're allowed to say the word on YouTube. You know when somebody takes their own life, that word, but it's called passive taking your own life. It is where you don't want to die, okay? You don't. You have no desire to harm your own person. But you also don't care if you don't wake up the next day. You you lose that will to fight off things. And I live with that. I'm going to be very, very honest. That's what I live with. I would go to bed at night and I'd be like, all right, well, if if this is the night that you're choosing, I guess this is the night you choose. And I went to bed on Saturday night and I had my little talk that I, I have every single night to myself and to my person that I, I uh, go to. And... Uh, I was like, I don't know what what you thought you were doing with me, but for the last almost a year now, I've gone to bed every single night wondering what I did and why you hated me so much. Because I haven't had the easiest life, okay guys, like, my mom died when I was nine months old, she was killed by a drunk driver, and my grandparents raised me, her mom and dad raised me, and they did a very good job of it, just let me make that perfectly clear, they did a wonderful job, but I never had my mom, and Sadly, nobody could talk about her because of how she died. It was so tragic to them. It was right before Christmas. And it was just something you couldn't talk about in our family. It was a secret that it was the the secret that was out in the open that nobody spoke about. So, I mean, I had a, a, a great childhood, but, you know, I didn't have my mom. So... I, it was hard, you know, and so when I found out I was sick, I, I was like, well, I guess I'll get to meet my mom, and my grandfather has now passed on, as well as my grandmother, actually, and so I always had the belief, um, I'd get to see them all, and I'd actually get to meet my mom, and and everything, so Saturday night I went to bed and I was like, Lord, I don't know what your, what your game is right now, but this is amazing. I, I want to wake up tomorrow. I actually want to wake up. And I haven't wanted to do that in a long, long time. And I sat there until well, 4 o'clock, I guess it was. And I was like, wow. 
You know, Sean, you actually, you're not alone. You think you are, but you're not. And I slept better than I have slept. And I cannot tell you how long. And yesterday, even though every ounce of my being was fighting, my body was fighting. And it was fighting hard yesterday. It, it was a hard day, let me tell you. Pain was excruciating. My brain and my mind felt fantastic. Felt fantastic. And the only thing I can tell you is because of you. Because of you, I didn't feel that the passive way to go was the way I wanted to go. Now, I knew when, when I first was diagnosed, um, Oh, talk about a heavy subject, eh? Super sorry. Because I'm actually in a really, really good mood, so. Um, we, we are, we have the ability for, you know, assisted, medically assisted death. And in my case, that is something I probably have to venture into thinking about at some point because... My doctors have told me that it's a very difficult way to go. Very painful, from my understanding. And so, uh, I said, oh, okay, you know, I got you. Um, we'll figure it out when we figure it out. I'm not there yet. And so, I said to my husband this morning, I love the fact today I woke up again. I don't feel like it. I don't have that thought in my head. The thoughts in my head right now are fight, girl, fight. Give it everything you got. And you and all the people that left comments that said they were there for you, trust them, they're there. So I'm going to. I am going to have the blind faith that I don't normally have. And I, and I, I have it with reason because I have always been one to give so much and get so little in return and I don't mind doing that to be perfectly honest with you I don't mind um because that's not why I do it I don't give my time and my feelings my energy because I want something back I do it because I genuinely that is just who I am I if someone's cold have my sweater it's okay I don't mind being cold um it's just something I've always, always been like, and so, um, yeah, but I, I have to, I have to say, you guys are, I shouldn't say you guys, you all, you all, because I, I know that I shouldn't say you guys, you all are fantastic human beings that simply have no idea what you did for one person. You changed one person's outlook in life. Can you imagine if we all did that once a day? If we all just went out into the world, and most of us do, don't get me wrong, 
every single person that left a comment for me, I know you're one of those people that you go into the world and you make a difference. So what I want to say to you is, let me pay you back. Let me pay you back. Let me do something for you. Let me give you what you gave me because, and I don't know if I can, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if I have the ability to give you what you gave me. I'm just looking at something because for some reason it feels like I've wrote that symbol before. Yeah, I did. I just did it wrong. Um, I was just going to write this. Knew I had seen that symbol. You know when you've seen that symbol, you've seen that symbol. Um, so, yeah, by, by all means, I would gladly give back to you what you've just given to me because I think you're pretty freaking amazing is what I think and I think you have no idea that you did it I don't think you had any clue that your comments would mean so much you had me laugh, you had me cry, and everything in between. And I, honest to God, cannot thank you enough. I can't. I don't know how to. I have no idea how I'd ever repay you. How I could ever make you feel what you made me feel. So what I can say, though, is if you are hurting over anything, let me know. Let me know. And let me, let me come talk to you for a while. I have always closed myself off from people, especially more so in the last year, just because, I, I mean, if, if you don't know, it's, dying alone is scary, man, it is scary. Oops. Just got my foot. I'm gonna make sure I'm in camera for you guys to see if that's okay. But it is petrifying to to feel like you're dying alone. It is petrifying to feel like nobody cares. That you're gone. And it is so easy, so so easy to fall into passive dying because no one's going to care anyways. The only thing that they're going to look at is, is that they're inconvenienced people that know me because they'd have to go to a funeral that they don't want to go to but they know they'd look like a shit if they didn't because so-and-so is going to say something about them. Oh, did you know that Santa didn't show up? Oh my god, can you believe it? And you know what? That's that's not for me. That's so not for me. But you guys I I when I was filming that review, I cried so hard. I actually couldn't I started to hyperventilate. And but it was in such a good way. 
and I know you're like, I'm currently hyperventilating, aren't I just saying no? No, they're not really. But when you're doing it because your heart feels so overrun with positive feeling. It's no longer the negative crap feelings, it's the good, good feelings. Um, makes a difference. Now this is one of the reasons why I didn't like this kit. This is the number nine on the, like the serial number, but number three is the symbol. I know I'm going to screw that nine and that three up. I know it. And I hate when they do that. And this kit does it quite a few times. Like 31 is nine. 32 is four. So this is an older kit with Diamond Art Club. And thankfully this was not the first one I pulled out when I first bought from them. Because if it was, I may not have bought any more. Because this one, I will say, has frustrated me excessively. And I know it shouldn't because diamond painting is supposed to be so relaxing. But this hasn't been relaxing, this one. And so, and my Jody Bergsma's Friendship, that's a newer kit. And, like, there was times where I actually thought I was going to run out of drills. And then on other ones that were huge, like huge amounts of leftovers. And some I thought I was going to be out of. And some of the quality and some of those squares were questionable. And I mean, I love Diamond Art Club. Don't get me wrong. I love that company. And my one, I guess, dream, hope, wish, whatever you want to call it would be for them to let me do one sneak peek unboxing because I think that'd be so cool. So hey, if I can make a wish, that's my make a wish right now for today. I probably have one that's way better than that if make a wish comes to me, but that would be one that I would enjoy doing is a sneak peek. I think we all want to do one like that. Um, that would be cool. But, uh, yeah, it was, the quality wasn't as good as I was hoping. I was slightly disappointed, I'm going to be honest with you. I was slightly disappointed, and I'm slightly disappointed in this one. It's, these are supposed to be resin drills, and some of them look like they're acrylic. They have big whopping crevices in the bottoms. Now, I am redoing my drill storage system, and let me tell you, it's a lot. A lot. Okay? When I say a lot, I, I'm not joking. You know how you have those photo boxes? I've got 12. Okay? So, I have too many that I need to get rid of them. So you need to tell me which ones you need. Or if you want all of them, like do you want a whole set? And I would offer you the whole set if you live in Canada because I would just buy those boxes where you, you pay one flat rate and you can put as much into it. And I would just ship them to you and say, here you go, have fun with them. Because they're really too much, and I think when I first started getting into this, this was my escape from just hearing really bad news, and my husband even said, he's like, you just fell into it because you had to, and I was like, yeah, I did, I had to fall into this because it was safe, and, uh, so my husband today, he's working, but he had to go to the doctors, and he's like, I got a notice on my phone that said they attempted to deliver a package 
but no one came to my door, so I gotta go pick it up tomorrow. But the weird thing is, I don't have anything ordered to come to my door. So, and it came through ship, pirate, no, pirate ship, something like that. And I only know one person through this community that has my address. So that's whom I'm assuming that must be from. Because pirate ship, I believe, is from the States. And I haven't made any Etsy purchases. And they usually come up differently. So I tried to look this up. And I know where it originates from. So this is what's making me think this is someone I know. And if it is, I'm probably going to blow my eyes out when I open it. Because... They are one of the sweetest human beings I've ever met. So, I have been debating because Dreamer Design popped a, an email over stating they were giving buy one get one 55% off today. And I thought, geez, you know, there's a couple on there that I do want. But, now, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but Dreamer Design quality and prices, to me, are a bit high. Because, to me, their quality lacks in areas. And they say that their drills are resin. I'm going to call BS on that. Only because, now, I could be wrong, and I, I probably am wrong, so maybe I should be careful with what I say here. But, you know how on acrylic drills you get the big, huge divots in the backs, and the fronts are, like, uniformly perfect? Every drill that I've pulled out from Dreamer is like that. So, I'm kind of thinking maybe they're not... Oops, they're not the right kind of drills, but I was actually kind of really disappointed with the quality of the feel of the canvas, the whole. Now, I unboxed an Oraloa for you guys, and I went to, I was going to put it up, and then I thought differently of it because it was so bad. I'm not talking a little bad, okay? I am talking majorly, you want to scream bad. One, it was supposed to be a square. It was a round, which is okay. I mean, I'm not going to get totally upset over that. What I did have a problem with is the drills looked like they were smashed into the bag. They literally weren't put in nicely and neatly and tidy and they looked like they were smashed in there. There was no toolkit on the one. One of them, the toolkit was there and it was so pathetic. Now, I have watched unboxings, supposedly, from people on YouTube that are unboxing an Oraloa. And what they got looked nothing like the four paintings I got. Now, I understand one of them being a little off. Absolutely. And you know what? That is, that's okay. One out of four, but all four of them looking as crappy as they did? No. No, 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 no. And then to contact them and then for them to not even acknowledge me but yet someone on youtube complains about the quality of their drills and they receive free trays and all this swag and all this free gear because they have a youtube channel and they know that they're going to get orlo is going to get called out for this so 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 not cool like 
treat one, treat all the same. And I believe that for every company, if me and you bought this picture, say, no matter if you had 5,000 followers, 20,000 followers, or five followers, it should be uniform between every single person. It should be consistent. Oops, sorry. Um, and that is my thing, is like, that's what I normally love about Diamond Art Club so much, is consistency, right? The toolkits are consistent. The quality is consistent. Now, the quality of the canvas on this one is fantastic. Fantastic. Not a problem. It's the drill quality that, I, that I'm having some issues with. One, they were excessively staticky to begin with. They were really hard to kit up because the static was fierce. It is an older kit. So, again, I'll give grace for that. They have upgraded hugely. And so, I definitely am going to try one of the newer kits and see what the quality is like. And I know they're constantly changing. So, in that aspect, I can completely keep going back to them and saying, yes, I will buy from you because of what I see. I see progression. I see consistency and I see progression. So yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll keep buying from you because you're showing me something. When I bought the Aura Loa kits, it was like, I opened the first one and I thought, oh my god, this is, this is really bad. The second one, wow. The third one, okay, no. Fourth one, it was like, and like, it says right on film, like, you gotta be effing kidding me, guys. Like, I had just at that point started to lose it because I was like, you are kidding, right? Like, who has got a camera punking me here? Because I spent a lot of money on those kits. These weren't buy one, get one 50% off anything. They would not give me a code to try the company out. Not saying I had a YouTube channel or nothing. This is months ago. This is even like way before I even thought about doing anything like this. It was just, I emailed them and said, um, I've never purchased from you before, and I'm wondering, do you have any specials for people that are doing a first-time purchase? I got back an email that said, no, they didn't, but they would give me 10% off my order, and I was like, okay, that's funny, because Diamond Art Club gave me 50% off the second one I bought, and so I bought a bunch, and... Then I changed my mind because I thought I had to do it really quickly. And I emailed them and I said, oh, can I change these two? And they're like, oh, sorry, we can't. But what we'll do is we'll just cancel the order, give you back your coupon, and let you redo it. And take as much time as you want. The coupon's not going to expire. And I was like, oh, cool, thank you. And that's what I did. I took my time and I picked out a whole bunch that I wanted. I think it was four that I picked out. And then I kept looking and I saw a few more and I wrote her back and I said, can I add these to it? And they said, absolutely. And they gave me another code and said, here, just use this one again. And, or use this code this time. And uh, go ahead. So I did. And then with Dreamer Design, they had a code up. I didn't have to contact them. But when I contacted them about the drill quality, it was like, we don't get a response. Okay, well, don't email me your deal this week because I'm not going to buy from you. You know, it's like I bought the paint gem. And I've never bought from them, and I bought quite a few of them, so I'm hoping that they're good quality. More so not for me, but just because they're gifts, right? I wanted some gifts to give out to some special people that 
um, I just want to give something to them. And I mean, I can give tons of this kind of stuff and stuff I have in the closet and everything away. But I wanted a couple just nice, and I thought paint jumps would be cute thank you gifts to people because they're they're neat they're compact and they're they're cute and so that's what i wanted to do so that's what i'm going to do so if you get a package in your mail that looks like a paint jam box you might be going oh, i know who sent that i know who sent that oh crap that's hot I made myself cut the tea so that is the colors for couch dragon oops now i was going to put it into my elizabeth wards because i do have a few of them well you can't tell the colors any better that way i was going to say see the colors the colors are gorgeous in this i must say they are really pretty um they're nice and bright and that got me thinking i'm like yeah 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 i like it i like it i like it so i gotta do my log book but i haven't started my log book yet so what i thought i'd show ya that's what i'll show ya oh i know what i'm gonna show ya let me tell you this oh excuse my reach come on there we go this is how i got hooked on diamond painting these are the two let me see if it's in the camera these are the two that i bought at my local dollar store and this is what got me hooked on diamond painting I found them yesterday and I was like, oh my God, they're so terribly placed. I mean, so bad. But I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. I tried to seal this one just by using glue. Somebody said use Elmer's glue. I was like, no, 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 I can't do that. So yeah, that is what, and now let me try and get that back in there before I move on. But that's what got me hooked into diamond painting so yeah all right let me grab a pen let's because i want to talk to you for a little bit longer um come on there's got to be a pen here here's the diamond painting pen. i know i have them i have pens i just want to see if any of them have tips in them we're done. That's cool, cool. And I need some wax. I need some wax, guys. Oops. And I dropped it. Of course she does. Okay, we got her wax. We got her pen. Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Let's move the dangerous things out of the way. We got a tray. Now. Um... Let's work on this guy for a little while. Maybe we'll put this one. This guy is these two. I did a, like a mega kit up. Oh, I know what we could do too. I wanted to make cover minders. I was going to make cover minders out of these, but I think they're too big. Or these. Are they cute? I thought they were cute. Now, which ones are which? Okay, these go with these. And these go with these. I don't know what those are, but these do. Yeah, so I thought they'd make cute cover minders, maybe. I don't know. I'm a just a saying. I'm just going to give you. So, let's work on this. We'll do a boop and chitty chat 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 a little bit so I can keep thanking you. Oh yeah, I guess we want the drills. Um, hello girl. I'm trying to clean my craft room. And do you ever do this? But the more you try to clean, the more of a mess you make. See that? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, let's get comfortable. What are you working on? What are you working on? Let's see, let's pull this back a bit. 
This is that one that is just rhinestones. And, oh, I guess it would help if we did put some wax into our pen. This is not my normal pen that I use, but let's use some actual just plain wax instead of fancy alternatives and stuff. You'll see how, why I never diamond painted with pink wax. You will actually get to see why I never did do it for long periods of time because to be perfectly honest, I want to make sure I've got the right one there. Yeah. Um, I'm a heart presser. And don't mind me, but I'm also new to squares. So this is sort of why I wanted to show me doing it because I don't know how much you're going to see because I'm left-handed. And being left-handed makes it a lot more difficult to, because, sadly, let's see, can I zoom in? Too bad that you're down. Let's try eight. I'm going to go for those eights. I'm almost trying to do it where I'm watching through the camera lens. Now, I'm trying to diamond paint through a camera viewer, but I am a super duper hard presser, so I'm trying to do it much, much lighter. But what I want to say is if you mostly do rounds, don't be worrying about putting your squares down perfectly, just as long as you get in that area. Everything else is going to push it into place. When you get everything laid down, everything is going to go in and straighten everything else out. So don't get all funky over that part of it. Because I did that. I was always, always, always going, oh my gosh, it's not straight. It's not straight. Now, the only places I do get a little funky Normally, I do my checkerboard, but when I'm doing my edging, that's where I do try to be more precise because I do want some pretties on my edges. But other than that, guys, like my hand is so in the way when I try and do this for you because being left handed. So, are you a right handed or a left handed person? Because being left-handed, especially watching right-handed people diamond paint, was always harder for me because I was always trying to figure out how they were doing stuff in certain ways. And for me, like, if you, I don't know if you can tell, but naturally, I, my hand has a turn in it. So, here, I'll show you right here what I mean. Can you see that? My, no, you can't because we're a bit too far. I'm going to come out a bit just so I can show you. If I naturally hold my pen like I would, can you see how my wrist is curved? Now I'm trying to straighten it out so you don't see it, but, um, Yeah, I I have a very curvy Now I know some left handed people they really get in that left handedness and they go at it like this from the top down. Which is another way you can do it when you're left handed. I I'm not so good at it, I must say. <laughs> I'm not so good. But I'm pretty... I'm also not used to people watching anyway. Or listening. Because my bracelets make a whole lot of noise right here. And you probably think, geez, that girl wears a lot of jewelry. Does she not use any in the jewelry box? I actually do. Everything that I do wear has a distinct purpose. 
um, the bracelet that makes the most noise is actually way too big now because I have lost so much weight. Oh, see? You didn't hear that, but I did. That's what ABs sound like, and I hate the sound. You know when your pen scratches the coating of an AB and it makes that nail on a chalkboard sound? Ugh. I hate that. I hate it. But see, for me, it's like, how fun is it for you guys to watch me diamond paint? Because you can't really see any of it. Unless I finagle my arm around in a way that's not comfortable. But basically, the whole reason I was making this video today was to give you the biggest, giantest, largest, most heartfelt thank you. That is why I wanted to film a video today, because I really wish the one from Saturday would have, or yesterday would have worked with the audio, because it, it had a lot of very raw emotion in it, and I just really, really, really need you to know that you have made such an impact on me. Like, I went into Shay's Live last night, and for the principal painter Kara's birthday celebration. So, happy birthday, Kara. Hope you had a great time, because it looked like it was so much fun. But I, uh, I went into Shay's Live, and... I said hello, and it was so sweet because there were people that were like, hi, Shay, hi, and I'm like, oh my god. So I'm going to give a shout out to Courtney, sweetheart. I hope you're feeling okay. I know you're suffering some migraines, so sweetie, I hope you're okay. Take care of yourself. Get some rest, because I know migraines are a tough thing to go through, my dear, and I hope you feel better today. Mm. Try, I don't know if staying in a dark room helps or any of those things help you, but do what you have to do, my dear, because we don't want you hurting. But I just want to say I'm thinking about you, because when you said you were suffering from such painful migraines, my dear, I was thinking about you, and I was thinking, oh, if I could just go make her a cup of tea, and help her out, I would, but a lot of you have made beautiful comments to me, and like I said, going into that live, and, and people calling out my name, I was like, oh my god, you guys, like I started to cry all over again, I'm just so grateful to you, I'm just so incredibly grateful, you have no idea, so today is Memorial Day for you guys, and down in the States, for us Canadians, that was last weekend, we celebrated that. But for you guys down in the States, I hope you have the most amazing Memorial Day. I hope you enjoy spending time with your families. I hope that your health is good. If you're not feeling good, I hope that it passes quickly. If you're not feeling good, Mentally, know that you are not alone, and you don't have to get into great detail, but just know that I'm here, and I will gladly go through it with you, and feel free to message me anytime, and please, what I'm going to ask of you all is this. Sometimes when we know that people that have chronic illnesses or terminal illnesses, we don't want to bother them with our problems because we think they already have enough of their own. No, 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 no. Please don't feel like you're bothering me because you're never bothering me. And I want to hear about you. So don't ever think, oh no, I don't want to tell her that because she's dealing with so much more. 
I want you to share your story. Because I don't want to just focus on my story. I want to focus on yours too. Because you're important and you matter. And your mental health matters and your physical health matters. And if I can sit and talk with you, I'm going to. Every chance I get. So please don't ever feel like you're you're taking time away. Because you're not. You're giving me. You are giving me time. And I cannot thank you enough. I can't. It is not physically possible for me to say thank you enough to you. So with that, I'm going to go do a voiceover on my unboxing of that painting. So you guys can actually see that video. Because not that it's great, but it's kind of interesting. Um, for that, I just wanted you guys to know that I adore you all. I really, really do. You have made this person's day, week, month, year, everything. I cannot thank you enough. So, back to your regular scheduled programming. And for now, I'm just going to go and probably do something like make more of a mess in my craft room or something after I finish doing a voiceover video. So guys, please take care of one another. Thank you so very much. You have no idea what you've done for me. I hope to be able to show you what you have done for me. I hope I can pay it forward and pay it back. So with that, you have yourself the most amazing day. And continue to play with your Tic Tacs and Diamond Wax. Alright guys, I'll talk to you so soon. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Okay, let's go. Are you going to go or am I going to go? One of us has to go now. It's going to be me. Give boy dance on to me. Not for that. I won't start singing today. All right. Bye, guys.